Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Hearts of Iron 4, continuing on with Operation Enduring Francedom, where I attempt to survive as France during World War II. And right now we have some major offensives going on, where I'm pushing pretty much everywhere I can down south here, where I'm not already defending, and attempts to make something happen here. We've made gains up in the north, now it's time to make gains in the south. Now I'm being attacked in a lot of different areas, uh, this being one of them. Let's go ahead and start time here because we'll see some recalculation here. Why don't we send this unit up there to aid in this defense? Now, I believe I have an assault going here, which we're currently losing. I also would like to see what else is going on here. So, we're being attacked here, but I do see an opening, possibly, uh, if we were to attack here. Now, currently, I'm reinforcing this area. And I figure once we beat this uh, fight off here, looks like it's a two-prong attack against me. But once we beat them back, I figure maybe we can do an assault down here. Uh, we have a defense here that's going pretty well. At least I believe it's a defense. This may give me an opportunity to attack, although I don't really have much of here. Right now, I think I'm attacking over here, yes. At least I am attempting it. Or is this all British? I'm actually not sure where I'm attacking and what's going on right now. I think right at the moment my units are actually held in here in a fight. So we're probably waiting because I think we took this territory and we're being attacked is what's going on there. Over here I have some fights that are not going particularly well but mostly what I'm trying to do here Oh, I do need, um, some resources here. So I'm going to get on that here in a second. I also have supply issues that I wanted to take a look at. So, that is this. Sorry, it's down here that we're having supply issues. Okay. Maybe I can fix that by fixing the infrastructure. Where else are we having issues? Because it says the line's having issues too, although I think the line does extend down in there, so maybe that's what it is. All right. Let's take a look here. There would be infrastructure. Why don't we take what infrastructure we have that's blown up and just send it up to the top? So that can start being worked on. And maybe we can fix some of these issues. I would, though, like the refinery to be at the very top of all that. Because it's about to be constructed, and that will get rid of the uh, oil and rubber issues. For the most part. And then we might actually want to start on another refinery after that, because we still have shortages of... Well, we wouldn't have shortages of rubber, but we might in the future, so... We'll have to see. As also, I have a lot of... It's saying 90 civilian factories, but... Looks like not that many are actually being used, unless I'm reading that incorrectly. It could be some of them are damaged. Alright. Alright, we're starting to lose some more of the fights here, I think. This is a thought. Oh, you know what? I think these guys were supposed to assist on them in this assault. And we were waiting for something else or something was going on there for sure. A lot of the fights I'm starting to lose here. To the point that I'm starting to think that we should probably pull back. They must have reinforced. But if they reinforced one area, they must have pulled out of another. So let's back off here a little bit. It's clear to me that we're not going to win a lot of these fights. Although technically we're winning this one. Let 
Let me see if I can find the division that's... This is the thing that's so frustrating about this game, is finding divisions that are doing things can be really frustrating. Like, I don't know where the unit that's attacking in here is. All right, well... You know what? Screw it. I couldn't figure out who was going where because of the way that the interface is. So, we'll just regroup with this attack. There we go. <laughs> now we're at being on the defensive here. And this fight is still going poorly, it looks like. Because I just think they're absolutely throwing a ton of divisions at me. Yeah. A huge number of divisions. We're looking at 32. And we have another fight attempt here to try and recapture this city. We're going to pull off on that. And these guys are stuck in an a defensive. I just wish I could actually utilize my soldiers here to keep pushing. But I can't because they keep reinforcing areas. Any any time I get an opportunity, it looks like they just reinforce. And this fight might turn sour as well. Oh, we have an attack going on here. Not anymore, we don't. You guys are attacking in there. You can stop. All right. Now, I may be able to take advantage in some areas. For instance, I have an attack going on here. I could try and break it with these units. Can you go into here? No, you can't. Good. All right. Just wanted to make sure where the extent of my line was. All right. So we had to cancel a lot of the offensives here. It looks like we're getting pushed heavily here. Another thing I probably want to look at is where my air power is. So, do we have stuff in Eastern Germany? We do. We have stuff in Northwest Germany. We have stuff in Western Germany. But we don't have anything over here in the Czech territory, which, are, which is where we actually need it. At this point, I don't think there's really any German troops over here. So... Let's see if we can reorganize some of this stuff. So... I'm not sure who's where. All right, so none of these groups are in Western Germany. I'm going to assume it's this group here. Yeah, so both of these are in Western Germany. Now, I'm not producing any tactical uh, bombers, <laughs> which is fine. How about you guys rebase over by Munich here? Get you closer to the fighting. So... You go here, you go here. And in the meantime, we'll have a little bit of, all right, let's see also logistics. All right, we have 100, and, 100 or so fighters here. Tactical bombers, we are not producing at all. We have more close air support. So while we're here, why don't I add a close air support I guess we're going to have to use some outmoded stuff. And we're going to increase this to 100. Okay. And then the fighters, I'm fine with 150 there. But wherever I have guys over in Eastern Germany, this group here, I would like to increase to 200. Okay. That is set. We already have the fighters, so it should take not too long to get them where we need them. Naval bombers are continuing to do their thing.
All right. Go over to the uh, naval screen here. All right. You know what I'd like to do? I'm just going to grab all these guys and I'm going to tell them to go into a port. And then we're going to reorder them. Alright, once we get them into port, I'll probably merge them up. And then we'll have them, have them cover more territory here. Okay. Get back into the fighting here. So this assault is not going particularly well. How many divisions do they have? Well, they have a ton. And even though they're attacking me here with two divisions, they're being able to put up a good fight. These guys are so racked with uh, organization, I probably should just hold off here and wait and be patient. But it is annoying, nonetheless. I'd like to take advantage of some of these assaults they're doing at me. I just can't. Alright, I think I got rid of that low supply issue. Probably because I repaired the infrastructure. Okay. Or I'm starting to. <laughs> Let's get on to another refinery here. Because we just finished the one. I don't even know why I'm still short of oil and rubber. That should have taken care of it, but whatever. Um, so let's build one. We'll build it over here. Oh, and I want to put that up towards the top. So that gets worked on first. All right. How are we losing this fight? We've got 28 divisions that are dug in. It's mostly, I guess, low supply that's the issue here. And the enemy has air superiority. I'm going to try and do something about that. It's the Czech territory we don't have any air power over. I'm going to assume Czech territory, right? Let's see for sure. No, that's the Alpine region. All right. The main reason I haven't done anything over here, for the most part, is because every time I send fighters over here, they just get murdered. But we can find out what's going on over here. So they've got enemy support planes over here. Significant numbers. All right, you know what? I change you to 200. I don't know if I have many fighters left over after that. But, I'm going to go into Munich over here. And you're covering Western Germany. I think I'm going to change that. I'm going to change this. And you're going to be in the Alpine region now. Instead. And do I have any fighters left over after that? Not many. So we're just going to have to wait for production here. What's my current production like of planes? So we're producing more than two a day. Okay, well. We'll just have to hold out for now. Hopefully I can make a switch here. And get air power over here. Okay, so now we have 150. Let's take a look here. We have 150 over here. They still have this. Let's see. Um, Information-wise, probably nothing yet. Oh, okay, so we've lost three fighters. They've lost... Okay, whatever. I think uh, this might actually turn the tide a little bit. And we have a decryption advantage, which is giving us a bonus. Alright, so this should really help. 
Now that we have air power in the Alpine region. Now, is all of this in the Alpine region? It looks like it. And our assault here is not going anywhere. I'm going to just call that off. All right. This defense continues to go poorly, it looks like. You guys might as well get back in there. I need to redirect troops that are down here. So, tank unit, would you please come over this way? No, not through the war zone. No. Bad. Go this way. Then go this way. Here, I'll strategic redeploy you that way. You get there faster. Then come up this way. And then we'll move you from there. And then once you get over the mountain range. And I'm going to just take... I feel like I should do an attack here. There's not that many divisions. Although I tried that before and it looked like they reinforced. What is this? This is woods. I'm going to take all these guys and throw them in here. See if we can make headway here. I'm going to split off half these guys. I want to send half of them up there. See if we can make a little bit of headway here. And then this is a defense, or at least it should be. Okay. Now we've got somebody in here we may be able to attack. So let's grab half of these guys and all of these guys and attack here. I mean, we probably already did a move like this. This is looking weak. Possibility that we'll be able to attack. I just gotta wait until it calms down a little bit. In the meantime, though, I've got a big fight going on here. Once these guys move, that's when we, we strike. There's one. Uh, they're rerouting. Alright, well, one of these units got knocked out here. Let's, let's go over there. Anytime now, go away. Anytime now, go away. Three, two, one. Okay, gone. You, attack. All right, that should uh, get their attention. All right, this fight is not going well. I honestly don't know why. It could be because I'm being attacked, so I could wait for the defense to be over. This gives me more defensive strength overall. Yeah, we'll do that. I would like this fight to end. Oh, they reinforced here. There wasn't looking like there was that many troops over here, but now there is. All right, well, now that we've got the river held, it should be easier to hold out against these guys. The main thing I'm just concerned with is how long these fighters can stay up, considering that there is more heavy combat going on here. Like, I don't know, why are we losing so many fighters compared to how much they're losing? I mean, these are support that are unescorted by fighters at all. Not really sure how that works, but maybe we'll be able to just beat them by outproducing them in the air. All right, well, this fight continues to go well. We're not being attacked here anymore. So, let's do this. I'm going to deselect two units. We'll say this one and this one because they're looking a little beat up. And we'll get back in here. Now this should be far more winnable. Okay, what do we got going on here? We've got Belgians saying that they want to do something. They want to give us five divisions. Okay, we'll, we'll accept that. I'm going to have to find the divisions here. And we have an air wing not having a mission. That would be these guys. And we're going to tell them to come into the Alpine region. Here. And that should help the Alpine region quite a bit. Okay. Now that that's done. Let's find these uh, Belgian units that we just got. And they should not be in an army. So there they are. Most of them are green. Just right-click to go right to them. 
Oh, they're in Africa? They're all in Africa? I really wouldn't care to have these guys, honestly. Well, you know what? Maybe we can use them to um, retake Africa a little bit more efficiently here than the AI is doing. So why don't we do this? Rather than doing whatever the heck they're doing right now, why don't we have them strategic deploy and come here. Or better yet, come here. And maybe we'll um, smash this uh, Italian division. And I might as well give them a commander if it will allow me. So uh, we'll be adding a new theater here and we'll be calling it Africa. Okay. And you guys, I will color... Well, let's do like this purple color. That's fine. I don't think we're using that color anyway. And for a commander, um, who do I have that's not being used? Pretty much nobody. I can't get a new commander because I need 30. Wow, this guy has a lot of skill. Now what I could do is I could get uh, the field marshal here. Or, let's put it this way, I can remove, like, for instance, the officer from the, like, yellow or orange army. And add them into another army. Or, I could add the red army to the blue army, which is who they're nearby. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, we've gotten rid of that. Now... But that's done. I'm going to go back to the African theater. And we're going to give the field marshal here, which is our least skilled general, to this army. Now, I'm assuming here that... You know what? Why don't you just cross here so we can start working on stuff. As a matter of fact, you cross here. And then we'll link up on the other side of the river here, maybe. Okay, that works for me. As a matter of fact, why don't you go here instead? And then we'll have the other one strategic deploy where they need to deploy. All right, I'm going to have to keep an eye on Africa every so often. But for now, we're going to just let that be. And the allies are definitely... Um, Taking back territory here. We just need to squash out the rest of the Italians. And then probably I might start thinking about doing tech for naval invasions. And uh, coming in here and taking Albania. It looks like this defense is going really well. We're winning a lot of battles here. Especially this one. The only one we're losing is here. And we'll go ahead and move in the tank unit to try and help. Alright. There has to be a ton of divisions in here that I just can't see. I really wish the interface... Okay, it looks like there's eight divisions in there. It's kind of hard to tell. And it looks like there's going to be more. How much I'd love to attack in here. Especially as four of those eight divisions are attacking me over here. You know what, we'll give it a try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We can always back out. Oh no, it looks like we're winning. Okay. We're also being attacked here, which I'm not a big fan of. Because this fight was going well until that happened. Alright, let's let's uh, pan over here. Okay, so this fight was won. There's still a huge number of divisions here, though, that I can't really do anything with. So, we're going to have to be patient in that regard. But we're winning a lot of these fights here. And these guys are looking really weak, actually. 
So once these defenses stop, you know, this might be a, an area that we want to attack. I think I've tried it before, though, and it was a failure. Um, but there's a lot of weak areas here I wish I could take advantage of, but I really can't because I am having to commit troops to defenses. But, like, if we did this... I mean, we're winning it. And then, do I make an attack in here, where they're very weak? With everything I have? I mean, it's not working right now, but maybe it will in the future. How is the air war going? I'm curious. So, if we come over here... Shouldn't I have close air support in here? Or did they get murdered already? Yeah, it says they're in there. Why does it not show the mission? Oh, it's because I haven't actually told them to do that. There we go. That's better. Okay. So this should start helping out units that are in here. Okay, let's switch back to that. You. We're going to have bombing happen here. Okay, so this fight we're not winning right now. But I may be able to take advantage of some of these <laughs> units that are weakened by doing various offensives. Alright, so I'm going to push with these guys. See if I can get more progress here. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alternatively, I could attack here. It's the same number of divisions, but they're weaker. And we all have more support overall here. Alright, let's back off. Go in here. You guys. Half of you. We'll split it. Go in there. Half of you go over there. The other half go in the other one go in there. See what we can do here. Okay, so we've got divisions in here not doing anything, and we can send them in here. This fight we're continuing to win, but it's, it's hairy. Over here, we're trying this offensive, and we're winning it, but it's frustrating. Let's get this guy in there. Ah! Well, that's not good. Now we're having supply shortages again. Let's see where that supply, what it's like. Okay, so mostly the problem is still over here in the Alpine territory. I mean, I'm trying to take care of it. But uh, it could just be the lack of infrastructure overall in this territory that's the problem. As a matter of fact, that re infrastructure I'm repairing probably doesn't have anything to do with it because I don't have that actual territory in my control, but... We'll try it nonetheless, I guess. Okay, so... Fighting is going okay in some areas, not so great in others. But this is really a meat grinder here. And this is proving to not go anywhere, but you know what? We'll keep fighting there just to, like, pin down troops, maybe. We are winning here. I just wish we weren't out of supply constantly. I also wish the AI would stop with silly attacks. Oh, wait a second. This attack is looking good, actually. Um, we're very beat up here, though. Let me put these guys in half. Anyone that is looking, like, really beat down. Really, it's one Belgian division I'm going to be sending. Alright, we're just going to have to wait on that, I guess.
Oh, finally, you're getting over there. Paid in some of these assaults. Well, you know what? I might as well throw this division over there. Alright, well, these guys are going to get caught in a defense here in a second. Who said you were going to attack there? Nobody said you were going to do that. Bad. Naughty. Okay. We're making grounds here. Which will actually help in the long term. And honestly, I think... Um, well, first, let's take care of any... We don't really have any deficiencies that I need to worry about. Let's get a summary of how the war has been going. And then we'll put a cut in the video here. So, the Germans have lost almost 3 million in casualties. Uh, the Italians are a million. So, the Italians unto themselves are, have lost more casualties than us. And they've only had 10% war participation. So, that's pretty bad for the Italians, obviously. Um, the Japanese haven't lost all that much. Slovakians, not all that much. Looks like the next ones are the Hungarians have lost quite a lot. But uh, our forces, we still haven't lost uh, a million in casualties, so we're doing better than a lot of the Axis powers are. And we're leading, clearly, uh, the war, 77% here, and then there's 75% here. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.